Hello there guys, we've arrived at a new destination, not that far away from where we were the other night in Salt Coats. We are now in Ardrossan and there's a wee place that's of great interest and I do feel that there may be some spirit there. It's uh, named Ardrossan Castle of all places, situated in the north Ayrshire coast town of Ardrossan. So, um, we're just going to wing it and uh, see how it goes, eh? So, I've uh, got myself in uh, our lawn now there. <laughs> uh, we've got our flashlight sat there ready. Uh, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> yeah, she's actually not the camera shy tonight. <laughs> So, <laughs> I'm getting quite a cheeky monkey now, eh? Well, there we go. Um, so, flashlights at the ready, ghost hunting equipment at the ready. And uh, we'll see you when we're actually on our way. So, catch you in a bit. Okay, folks. Uh, we're just going to have a wee walk up here. It's pretty dark. I can hear water running as well. Uh, already I'm feeling a bit of a a head change coming up here but this has got to be the route to the castle because when we spoke to young Robbie he said he had to walk away up to it didn't he uh, so we'll see uh, you guys when we get there so Catch you in a minute. My God. I am pooped. How about you, Lauren? <laughs> Welcome to our, our Drossing Castle. Oh. I just thought it was built in four phases. In the original construction in the early 12th century, so we're way back to the days of William Wallace with us, have we not? And there it is. And it's a uh, assumed glory before it became damaged. And there it is, as it is now. So there are, uh, it's a great. Uh, Landmark to come and visit if you are in the area of North Ayrshire, visit our Drossen Castle uh, because there's a lot of history. The Earl of uh, Cassillis, the third Earl of Gilbert Kennedy, he was the uh, Lord High Treasurer of Scotland from 1554. Onwards to nine, uh, sorry, 1558. Francois, uh, uh, Lord, Lord James Hamilton, who was the governor, and he was uh, governor from 1516 to 1575. Uh, wow! So there's a lot of uh, a lot of history there. So yeah, tons of stuff there. Okay, on to the location. And uh, here we are at Ardrossan Castle. Now already I'm feeling the head change in this place. Uh, I would imagine that the stone tape theory would be very prominent in a building such as this. Uh, wow. I don't know what this is for, is it probably for the guns, when they uh, use the guns, cannons and stuff like that in there, because um, this would have been a garrison of sorts wouldn't it, obviously it would have been a castle, mm. thanks Lorna, I nearly fell over that there, <laughs> wow. 
it's some place it's uh it's uh ruined but uh, they didn't pull it down because it's part of Scottish history and Scottish heritage so let's see if we can kind of maybe get up the side there but albeit it's derelict it's still a special building to say the least we'll take a wee walk in and around here it's just a shame that it's got to this stage, yeah, you're right, Lorna. Mind your feet there. Wow, look at that. That's what ruins it. Beer cans. And rubbish. Wow. Watch your feet. I'll just uh, shine that wee light there for you, Lorna. There's a snail there as well on that rock. Can you see it? There we go, right there, yeah. Wow. It's just... The stone tape theory must be amazing in here. There's the steps. Those steps going up to, obviously, the upper quarters of the building. But already, because I'm a medium, I'm getting the flashbacks of the... Uh, what it would have been like in the activity here. It's like a videotape. Playing back in my mind's eye and I'm hearing the clang of tankards and uh, the ripping of meat off the bone and stuff like that. Feasts. Well, they lay plans for Scotland's future and where it was heading because we're back in the times of William Wallace and Robert the Bruce and we have a little visitor here and he's laying in wait for that Slater <laughs> right, I'm not going to bother him there are bugs all over that wall so not only is it alive with the stone tape theory but it's also alive with insects. It's going to remain quiet for a wee bit until such times as uh, we're ready to get the action going with spirit here. So, okie dokie. I'll come straight back when we're round at the other end of the building. Here we are at what looks like an archway into the old castle. I'm kinda, I kind of get a feel, oh my god, of the spirits coming in here from uh, years gone by. Did you hear that there? Or oh wow. Okay, can you see where you're going there? I know. <laughs> the air will be turning blue in a minute. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> yes. Here it is. There's another, I do feel, uh, aperture in the side wall for guns, possibly. And I think that would have been like an ornate window or something. Yeah, I'm not really too keyed up on the history. But what a magnificent place. And talking of places, this looks as if it's still operational as what it was once intended. Possibly a fireplace. I don't know. Uh, but wonderful, wonderful, wonderful place. And I believe you me, it is very much alive here. The energies are just incredible. <laughs> Dear God. Another can. Uh, it looks as if this was a wee nest for birdies at some point. What do you think? Do you think I'm right? Uh, 
Yeah, I mean. Okay, we're going to get set up and uh, try out a little experiment and see what we get. So, start uh, recording in just a minute. Okay, and um, we'll get set the camera up and see what, what we get. Yeah, we've got this power box here. I'll just uh, take it out and just protect the casing. I'm hearing noises all in a bit here as if somebody's chucking stones. Must be my sap. Right. There it is. Yeah, it's funny really to see this machine here, this wee radio. It's been uh, doing some really strange things. It's, uh, the alarm keeps going off on it when it's not supposed to. And it turned itself on earlier on, didn't it? So, uh, let's see where we are. Right, uh, baseline test. Shall we try it? Okay, dokey. Uh, okay, dear divine God, we thank you for this time we have in this beautiful location in uh, North Ayrshire, or Drossen Castle. We ask that we have your blessing upon tonight's proceedings and uh, that we only ask for the highest and the purest of spiritual energy to come forward and uh, spend time with us as we wish to spend time with them. All this we ask and we pray for your protection is in and through love. Amen. Right, okie dokie, let's see where we go. Okay, are there any spirits here who wish to communicate? Could you please tell us your name? Please come forward, feel free to come forward and tell us your name. building? Were you the owner of this building? Just say yes, if you were. Yes, there we go. And you, are you a male or a female? Say yes if you're a male. There you go, yes. Okay, that will take a good start here. Um, right, um, what was your duty here? Were you a, a lord? Uh, say yes, a lord. <laughs> say yes if you were a lord. I think the plan of action is, you know what's coming, don't you? I thought I heard voices there. Yeah, when you bust out the Aztec death whistle to get to waking up the uh, vibrations. This is great for opening up the stone tape yeah. theory. Yeah, they're coming out the stones. Yeah, they'll get them coming out the stones, the energies that's printed on this beautiful uh, um, building. It's absolutely phenomenal. What an energy. So here we go. Here goes something, eh? Okay, 
here we go. Uh, I'm hoping that that will, uh, my goodness, I feel the change right away. Oh. Whew. Right. Okay, friends. If you're here, can you tell us your name, please? If you know you're dead, say, I'm dead. <laughs> dead. Right, okay. Can you tell us your name? <laughs> what was your name? Tell us your name. Okay, how did you die? Tell us how you died. <laughs> There's stuff there, but I'll need to edit it when it's, first, when it's coming out in the video, you know. Do you have a name? Do you have a name? What was your job here? What did you do here? Yeah, what I'm going to do is just going to put this to one side just now and um, bust out the, the IC recorder and see what happens there. See if we get any joy, you know. Hmm. Right, I need to put fresh battery in this. Bear in mind I used the death whistle so it's, uh, it's now time to try this IC recorder out. So here we go. If there are any spirits here, could you please tell us your name? Were you the owner of this castle? If you know you are dead, say, I'm dead. Okay, we'll listen back to it. Uh, right up close here so we can get Try again. Could you please tell us your name?
Nothing. Nothing. Uh, is there something I can do to... Uh... Right, let's uh... go and try a different part of the castle and we'll take it from there. Yeah. Stick this in my pocket just now we're going. Try somewhere else. Uh, right. Um we need to get in the other way. Right, okay. That looks like quite a steep slope. Wow. Um, well, no, I don't fancy getting down there because that's... Right, we'll just get through this way again. When you go, I'll light the way for you. Well, so far it's not been very eventful, but I can, I can hear them in my mind's ear. I can see them in my mind's eye. But when it comes to them being active for the baseline tests there's really nothing not, not much happening here at all so I'm going to I'm going to sit down for a wee second to take the weight off my back and my legs because they're hurting a bit so uh, oh dearie me right now you've got to Remember that these people do tend to be very secretive when it comes to commoners, you know, like us, because we're not royalty. Uh, could it be they're remaining tight-lipped because they feel they still have uh, their best interests to protect? My guess is probably yes, because what you're like in the physical world, social, you be in this spirit. Um, <clears throat> but it's uh, again as I said in the previous video it's kind of sod's law really about uh, how we we get evidence to come forward in the fashion that we hope okay, so right, what I'll do again is I will do another uh, another if I can throw the camera Hey, hold on. Get okay, I'm just trying to sort this out. I'm just uh, going to bust it. I'm going to bust it the uh, spirit box again and see if we can get any more um, communication from spirit. So, I'm just going to set this up. Okay, um, are there any spirit friends who want to come forward and say hello? If you know you're dead, say dead. I'm dead. There you go. Hi. Um, who was saying hello there? Can you tell me your name? King, the king. Um, would I be right in saying that William Wallace would have visited here? Did William Wallace actually visit this castle? I'll need to analyse that when we get back up home. There's definitely something there. Tell me again, 
Did William Wallace ever visit this castle? And Robert the Bruce also? <laughs> They'd come, right, okay. All right, um, say Wallace if you visited here. Can you say Wallace? Can you say, can you say Wallace, please? What about Robert the Bruce? Say Bruce, if he was here. Uh, Wallace? Uh, say Bruce, if Robert the Bruce was here. Can you say Bruce, please? That would be great if you could. Is there anybody else here? Any royalty here? Just say yes. Do you object to us being here? Say yes if you want us to go. You w no, right, okay. Why don't you want us to go? Do you like us being here? Say yes if you like us being here. Right, the word king just get mentioned again. What was the king's name? Can you give me any names? Right. Um, are you unhappy with the castle now being abandoned and ruined? Are you happy about that? I thought I heard the F word there. Did you hear that? Wow. Are you angry about the state of your castle? William. William. William, as in William Wallace. William I. Oh my God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so, we need to research that, but they've just told me that William Wallace actually uh, came here. Had a wee bug landed on my hand. So, say yes if you meant William Wallace. Aye. Aye. Mm. Wow. So there's a lady here as well then, yes? Mm-hmm. I don't know what that was. I'll need to review that one as well. Go for a something or other. Um, right. Is there anything else that you would like to say about our visit? Do you enjoy our company? Can you tell us yes or no if you enjoy our company? I do. Right, okay. Wow. Uh, so this has actually been more fruitful than the actual um, EVP session. Well, what can I say? Um, <laughs> right. Um, I think um, I think that's more or less us done with this uh, location. Uh, we're going to quickly head off to another one and um, see what's the crack there as well and uh, if we can uh, make other contacts. Um, so tell you when we get there. So oh guys, uh, that was our uh, sweep of our Drossen Castle. There's not a lot to it actually because it's quite dilapidated and it's crumbled over the years. I think we may have got stuff there 
uh, not so much on the uh, EVP uh, trying out the uh, stone tape theory because that way they were kind of uh, tight lipped. Uh, perhaps they were trying to protect their best interest, like I said earlier on. If you are trying to protect privacy in your home and stuff like that, then you will not want to speak to anybody. But I think on the, the final, uh, the second round of, uh, should I say, um, spirit box, I think I got something there. But we'll not really know until I'm actually viewing it and reviewing it on uh, editing. So on to the next one. Okay guys, we're on our way to the second destination. It's an old abandoned uh, farmhouse, I believe. I've drove past it many a time, haven't we, Lorna? Yeah. And uh, I stopped once to see if I could scope it out and have a wee look around, but uh, it was too dark and uh, the, the torchlight that I had on my phone just was not sufficient enough to uh, see exactly what I was doing, so I thought I'd take the opportunity tonight, now that I've got uh, decent flashlights, uh, and then we'll see where we go. But it's a dark dingy road, this is the Dalry Fairley Moor Road, so it takes you from Fairley, the North Ayrshire, over to Dalry, which is just a few miles from where we live. Um, but uh, here's hoping that this is going to be a Banging second part. How do you feel about it, Lorna? Do you think it's going to be a, a good day? Hopefully, so. It's yeah, I think there may be, we may get something here, so it could be a bumpy ride. Uh, we'll just need to wait and see. Alright, uh, guys, that's us. Uh, we've just arrived at the uh, location. It's an abandoned old farmhouse. <coughs> I think there's a barn building next to it, so I'm just going to um, get out and have a wee look and see what we find. Here we go, I shouldn't think that this would take very long. That's a CB aerial there. Um, so, just need to see how we go. So, we'll get the tripod. And then we can get started. Okay, let's do this. Right. Okay, I think there's a wee bit around about here. We can go in. Just mind your step because it's quite rocky there. Dog barking. Whoa, look at this place. Holy moly, it's so overgrown. I don't even think we'd be able to get in there, it's so overgrown with thorns. Holy moly, and stinging nettles. I'm not going to get in there because it's overgrown me. Right, let's see if we can find another way. Aye, that's disappointing. Uh -huh. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But there's a building down here. And look at that part there, that's... You'd need to climb right over that to get in there, and that's just not happening. Hold on, I'll just go and check. Oh, 
in here. What the hell is that? Somebody's dumped a bag. Wow. At least it's not a dead body. Wow. Look at this. It's an old barn with no roof. Seems to be now. Oh my God! Hey. Hello. All right. You just stay near us now. You just stay near us now. Are you coming? There's a creepy vibe. Wow. I mean, these are obviously old. What's that? <laughs> you nearly went in your house. Oh my god. Right, okay. Yeah, these are obviously stalls for animals. Uh, I don't know what they would have used it for. But, uh, Watch the, the floor in here, it's really, really slippy. Oh my. Right, I think probably here is as good a place as any to uh, conduct a, a EV, uh, sorry, a baseline. Test and investigation. Okay. Right. We're gonna be as close as we can here. At this point here, I'm currently trying to figure out what's wrong with the spirit box. Because over the past couple of days, it's been doing strange things. It's been sounding the alarm when spirit want to speak to us through it and it's also been switching itself on and then off again this place here at this point in time is really starting to get quite intense with spiritual energy okay um if there are any spirits here present would you like to make yourselves known Give me your name, please. Eric, right, okay, Eric. Eric, were you the farmer here? Say, farmer, if you were the farmer. Who's, he's dead, right, okay, I know that. He's dead. Uh, were you the farmer here, Eric? Say yes if you were. Uh, uh, the farmer of this uh, farm here. Are you here, my friend? What, what kind of uh, livestock did you raise here? Sheep? Oh, do you hear that? Sheep. Sheep. Wow. Wow. So it was sheep, yes. Right. £10,000 for what? Was that what you left to your family, maybe? 
Hello? Eric, the farmer, are you here? What was I saying? Right, okay, you got your wife there as well, yeah? Ah, I've got guts, yeah, I have. I have to come in here, because this place gives me the creeps. It really does, it's freaking me out. Yeah? Right, um... Wow. How long ago did you die? Can you tell me how many years ago that was you passed away? How many, how many years ago did you die? Uh, how long, how long ago did you die? Fifteen, is that fifteen years ago? Is it, was that fifteen years ago, Eric? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Wow, this is more active than the place up the road, I think. Um, oof. Are you happy with us being here, Eric? Yeah, good company. Yeah, good company. Do you hear that? Wow. Wow, so your missus is answering for you, Eric, yeah? <laughs> wow, this is nuts. This is crazy. This is still a to be a right banger. <laughs> it's just a shame. It's just a shame that it's in the state it's in. Are you happy with the state that your farm is in? Are, are, you ha are you happy with the way that your farm is at the moment and the state it's in? Does it make you angry? Does it make you angry that your farm is in a dilapidated condition? Right, I'll need to review some of this. Right, uh, I think we're going to kind of wrap things up here because I get, I'm getting a kind of spooky vibe about this place, so, um, well, uh, what can I say? Thank you very much, my friends, for being here and uh, allowing us to share this time uh, in your property. Is there any last thing that you would like to say, dear friends, before we go? What would you like to say? Did you enjoy our company? It was what? Did you say it was shy? <laughs> uh, I'm hoping you didn't say that. Did you enjoy our company? Look around us, right? What's what's running around us? Right, I think that's our time to get the hell out of Dodge. What do you think, you guys? You think so? Oh my, I, I think it's our time to uh, get out of here. Because that freaked me the hell out. Um, but <laughs> thank you for having us, Eric, and your lovely lady wife. And um, good night, sheep. Uh, I must have been successful. I was. It was really. Thanks for making it a success. Um, and I'll say good night <laughs> and sweet dreams to your friends. <laughs> Dream. Okay, my friends. Well, thanks very much. Uh, so there you go. Two locations. And I wonder in this doubler episode of Spooktastica. Okay, so uh, if you like this kind of comment, guys, feel free to uh, hit like, subscribe, ring the notification bell and share with all your buddies. And uh, 
I think uh, I think we'll get out of here. So next time on Spectastica, we hope to be uh, going to another famous location, which I have history with. So until then, we'll see you soon.